Welcome to the pioneering new world of farming pharmaceuticals. Biofarming, aiding scientists in cutting edge research. PPL Therapeutics is working on a solution. They want to clone pigs whose organs can be transplanted into people. Cloned and genetically modified cows that can produce milk containing the same health properties as human breast milk. These glow-in-the-dark cats could help develop treatments for diseases, for animals, and for humans. Yes, you did hear that correctly. He has put a spider gene into a goat. Transgenic fish. So the fish actually have what appear to be six-pack abs that we see in humans. My friends, I am here to warn you. I am here to alert you to the greatest threat to our species and our civilization on this planet. Humanity in just the last hundred years has increased its technological and scientific knowledge thousands and thousands of times what it was. But we are still the same species that we were, capable of magnificent heights, but also of horrifying lows. I want to talk to you about the greatest threat to human civilization and society today. Already irrevocably changing the genetic code of the biospheres on this planet, and that is genetic engineering. Now, I love science and technology. I know that it's a neutral thing and that man can use it for good or bad. But that said, the controllers and engineers of our society for more than a hundred years have believed that if they can discover the secrets of life, DNA, that they will have the keys to immortality. And now you see all the different news articles where they openly brag about this and the elite says, we don't need a giant population anymore uh, to run our technological systems. We're now phasing into robotics uh, where the military's aircraft will be drone, uh, where combat robots will do the fighting, where manufacturing will be carried on and executed by non-biological systems. So there is a arms race going on and a technological race going on right now dealing with genetic engineering. And recently, uh, the FDA has put into effect new policies that allow genetic engineering companies a predominantly big agra to put on the market any GMO organism they wish without even consulting the public. Now, when you look at this, it's not just GMO grass that takes less water. It's not just GMO tomatoes that last longer on the shelf. Every genetic engineer I've talked to who worked at these large companies said that in the different studies of G GMO potatoes, uh, rice, you name it, that there would be the side effect of reducing fertility in the rodents, the rats, the mice, the guinea pigs that they tested it on. Those that ate the genetically engineered soy, they didn't actually show the problems in the first generation. The second generation was slower growth, slower onset for maturity, but by the third generation, that's when nearly all of the adults had lost the ability to have babies. And then later in uh, primate studies with monkeys and apes, the same thing happened. And that uh, along with the public trait that these organisms are being engineered for, there are other traits quietly being built in as a Trojan horse uh, that cause biological changes in the body, that increase cancer, that reduce fertility. And these developments are a lot further along than the public has even been told. The information is available, but it's not an issue that gets a lot of media play. And even when 